Imelda May and Jessie Buckley were among the big names to feature in a celebration of Bloomsday at Derby's Embassy Gardens. Daggers and dead words are ready and creeping inside Creeping inside The full day of entertainment also included Video Blue, Niall McNamee and Ashling Logan as well as readings of James Joyce's famed book, Ulysses. Oh my god, it was absolutely incredible. It's my first show and the crowd was amazing. The atmosphere was just so fabulous and I, I had a ball. It was brilliant. It's kind of amazing because there are loads of kids wandering around. There are stalls for food, there's drink and the atmosphere is that of like a really lazy, hazy summer's day. It's exactly what you want. It's exactly what you want. Described as a celebration of Irish art, culture, food and drink, the festivities were brought together by chef Robin Gill and music producer Arvine Jutan. And his heart was going like mad, and yes, I said, yes, I will, yes. Yeah, yeah it was great to uh, to bring the words of Joyce to life and put a bit of meat on the bones, as they say. Um, very good to kind of see both Jelani and Jesse do their thing as well, and um, it's really nice that a lot of people um, who maybe wouldn't have read Joyce before or just new to Ulysses are getting kind of a more uh, modern day view of it by other people reading it rather than sitting with the book. So I think that was great. Absolutely. Well, a woman has just come up to me after performing there and she said, I've been here 15 years and I feel like Dublin has come to London. So thank you very much. So that was lovely. That's a good review. <laughs> The proceedings were hosted by the BBC's Tara Kumar. It feels like a real showcase of uh, London Irish thing. Um, so it feels really good. It does feel like a sort of a, a St. Patrick's Day, an extension of, in other words, you know. So yeah. Oh yeah, it was Crocker. It's such a lovely vibe here. Um, yeah, tons of people, loads of Irish people. It's just been lovely. It's been really nice to sing to the open air. Yeah, lovely vibe all together. There was also fun, like a lovely girls and boys competition, before Imelda brought the show to a raucous and poignant climax. You know, it stays at least you're proud to be Irish, you know, and, and, and you know, it wasn't just Irish people here, but it, we can be proud of this today. This was this is a really good show of what we do best, you know, art. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, yeah. I think, uh, I'm hoping it's the first of 
the first of many. It's great to celebrate Bloomsday all over the world. So yeah, I loved it. And the audience were very receptive because I came on at the end of the night and I thought maybe they were going to want, uh, I thought they'd be wanting to fly high. I wasn't sure if they were wanting some poetry or some readings from Ulysses, but they were up for anything at all. And we ended up having a sing song, yeah. doing harmonies, bit of poetry, bit of reading from, uh, did a bit of Molly Bloom and uh, got into a few rowdy ones as well. But they were, it was a beautiful flow. You know, it's lovely when you turn up to an audience who are ready to go along with, with whatever, whatever way the mood takes us all. We can speculate, hate, and say we're both lying It would appear there's been deep harm in trying a new thing A new thing oh, There's two sides to grief and two sides to reason Talk or don't talk and you're heading for treason You're exiled Now don't go away And it was just great to showcase Irish uh, musicians, artists, actors, uh, drinks, food from cheeses to Irish beef to Irish oysters. Uh, that's what it's all about. So it was amazing. Um, and to finish off such a long day with Imelda May was incredible. Um, she like I, there could, there's no one else that could have topped it off as well as she did. So it's been a really great day, I think. Anyone I spoke to today just were surprised that this is the first time we've done this, you know, and they were overwhelmed by it. But for me, it's only the beginning, you know. I want to tap into jewellers, you know, you know, I want to tap into craft even in more so. I want to have more Irish producers celebrated in every aspect, food, you know, distilleries. Uh, and I want to, I want to, I want to spread that more. You know, I want there to be a, an artisan food and culture village. We did, we touched on it, and we did some great things today. But I think there's there's room for more. I just want to thank everyone that's contributed to everything, and uh, and just remember, 16th of of June next year, it's going to be even better. Go!